Hey everyone, so in this very interesting tutorial you will learn how you can create this very interesting shape with spherical smooth shapes but at the same time having very sharp details here and yeah in general you will learn powerful techniques which you can use in your own project so let's have a look on that. And if you want to learn more about plasticity and surface modeling, I just launched my new plasticity 3D modeling course in which you will learn with fully narrated step-by-step -step instructions how to model a motorcycle completely from scratch. And not just that, this course will teach you the mental and technical skills to tackle any project that you want, as well as offering you numerous bonus lessons on effective learning strategies and providing you a full introduction into the fundamentals of surface surface modeling with hands-on exercises. So if that's something you're interested in, you can find out more information in the description box below this video. And for now, let's jump in into our tutorial. Reference image link you will find in the description. We will go to the front view. And first of all, we will create a center circle, something like that. And another one, which is a little bit yeah, bigger. That looks great. And again, we will just work with one half. So we will create a new line in the middle. And also, so this program is called Pure Ref. So you can put it on top. And here we have to cut. So you see, we have to cut here also a little bit away. So uh, create a new line and just do snap it to this curve and just drag that out. Something like that. Perfect. And now let's clean up. So press T for T uh, trim and just trim everything here away. So we are just left with those three curves. And honestly, I think this one could be a little bit higher. So now create a line as we have, we see here. So you see it's a little bit cut here at the top. So yeah, just create a line. Yeah, somewhere here should be fine. So snap it to this curve. And now let's um, clean everything up. Press T for trim and just trim all of those curves here because we just need those three curves. Perfect. And now we have to create here this volume, this interesting shape here. And we will go to the right view for that and press one for points mode because we need those endpoints. And also you see this in the inside is, is the rounding much rounder than here on the outside. This rounding is a little bit flatter. So what we will do, we will create a line and just guess yeah, somewhere like that, somewhere here between those points, press G and take the green arrow and press control and snap it to the middle. So it's exactly in the middle. And now a really cool trick how we can create perfect arcs here on the top at the bottom so we don't have to do you know, like this curves and all that kind of stuff and oh, and also we don't have to do it here with the spline curve because you see it's not exactly what we want <clears throat> so there's a cleaner way we can go here to three point arc and snap to this point this point and now you see we can create an arc and just snap to this point and let's do the same three point arc from this point to this point and just go to here and <laughs> you see how quickly we created the exact perfect shape i really like that delete this curve join those curves here together oh and uh, yeah by the way join just here g, g uh, j and um yeah so now we have to sweep it around and then we have to do here some really fun surface modeling as always at the top. So select this curve and sweep it around this curve, right? So you see that is already what we want. Press OK, mm, delete this curve here. And what do we have? So we are basically done. And yeah, we have to do some more stuff. So we need to, so there, are, I'm sure there are better and more other ways, but this is what I came up with. So we, because you see, this is now, it's not round here to the top. 
but here you see we have like the surface here on the outside has a rounding so that just gives us information that we need somewhere here kind of the shape right so what this so that just means we need again just an arc to to do that so again create a line and we have to stay here within this distance and you see we can't snap to this point so because we are dragging this line on the y-axis you press y because now it's only on the y-axis dragging and now you we can snap it here to the edge so it's exactly the length and again we can go to three point arc and again here from curve end to curve end but now we can't really use arc because if we snap here from arc to arc you see if we snap here to the top it goes a little bit outwards so maybe we can bring the curve also a little bit more up then it might work but here in this example we can yeah just use a spline curve go here from end curve go to this top point here and back to this point press right click and now we just need a few more points to just to create some rounding so shift s to subdivide and now we can just take one of those points so let me bring this curve here maybe to the front so you'd see it better so we have this shape here but yeah we want to make it a little bit yeah more round again so take this point here and press g take again the green one and press control so you snap to the edge so we have here continuity to this edge here and the same here take this point press g and drag with the arrow and snap to this edge you see so we have a pretty good rounding and yeah i think that should find uh, work fine so hide this curve and now what we want to do is we want to take this curve here and shift one or use search for imprint and by the way guys if you want absolutely optimized shortcuts i have a pdf below this video where you will learn everything about surface mod where you will learn the basics of surface modeling and my super optimized for the left hand and speed um shortcuts as this one so for me it's just shift one and then i can imprint this curve onto the surface press ok and we get something like that and now we can just delete those little pieces here shift x and you see we have a nice rounding but so let me hide this image i don't need that and yeah so first also first of all we also have to cut here that piece in half because as always surface modeling we just work with one half so the same for the other side so just create a line go to the right view create a line and c cut into this body delete this everything so we are just left with that and we can just work much cleaner and delete this curve here in the inside and what we have to do now we have to make here a little bit more we need a little bit more room to close this hole here so very simple we just create the line again and go to this edge endpoint and just drag that somewhere out here c cut into our surface delete this piece delete this curve and you see so if we would mirror that over you see we are getting somewhere and now we can start with the fun part and start to fill this gap here and first of all i want to go again to the right view and we need here yeah you see we need here a kind of a rounding so this will be here uh, very simple go to the right view and again points mode so you see those points and shift f so shift f control point again you find everything in the pdf below this video shift f bam and drag that out on the normal so it's tangent and one more point go to this point press shift construction plane snap to the construction plane and go back here perfect so now let's bring those points to the same distance so select them both press s and just scale them here on the y-axis to zero 
And now we can just play a little bit around with the points. I don't know, something like that should be fine here, I guess. And perfect. So now we can start to close this hole here, but you see this curve is too long. We have to cut it here because we don't need this piece here at the bottom because we have a surface already attached. Again, go to the right view, create the line shift A and just snap here to the edge, drag that out, SS, make it a little bit bigger. And now select this long curve and shift C again, custom shortcut for cut curve. So search for cut curve, shift C, here to this edge, right click, and now we can delete those curves. Perfect. So that really looks very clean and organized. And now we can start to close that. And again, if you know my tutorials and surface modeling, as always, we have to create a sheet for tangency. And if you don't know what is tangency and why this is so important, also here, you will find in the PDF below everything what you need about that. And we can use those curves and E for extrude. So we get those sheets and let's hide those curves. And the same here, because obviously we will also mirror that over on that side. So that means the same. We have to extrude that a little bit. Perfect. Look, guys, how beautiful this is and how organized and how clean and the yeah, perfect workflow, I think. So now we can try to patch that. So we select all of those curves and we patch it. And if we give you G1, G1, G1 and G1, you see <laughs> we get a really weird result here, but that's good because so as always, I try to go from big to small. So I just try it. So also before the tutorial, when I was practicing, I just tried to patch that first because I don't know, it might work, but you know why I'm doing this? Because now I have information. So my information that I got from this patches and you too is if I paint it, so you see, we have here this thing bump going inside, but what we want is we want here a nice curve to this point, right? So just mm, work with this kind of things, uh, like work visually and try to get some mistakes, which is good because then you can just learn and take the information and see what you need. And look right now it's just we really, so here we have this edge, right? And here we have this edge and we just want here this shape. So what does that mean now? Very simple guys. If we just go back, it just means that we will create here a curve exactly in the middle, which will follow that shape that we just painted. So to, to, to do that, we have to add here an extra edge in the middle. So select this face and again, custom shortcut control R or isoparam below that video. As I said, you can create here an extra edge and now take this extra edge and this extra edge and bam, shift B again, extra shortcut. But guys, it's, it's literally just a few, like seven shortcuts or so, but I don't know, you will be literally five times faster than if you would always search here for, for, for example, F and bridge. And you see, so just put it here on shift B. So it's just 10 times faster. So shift B, bam, bridge edge. And we are basically done. And you see, so just give it G1, that will be fine. And you see, we are now much, much more what we want. Perfect. And now we can again try to uh, patch everything. Shift three. Again, sh custom shortcuts for you to just uh, patch. And let's give it here G1 and here G2, uh, zero and shift at this guy here. But you see something is not really working here what we want. So let's go back. So if that ha happens, Let's just go one by one. Let's close first this hole here and we can, so we can just love those edges, shift G1 and just add here to this curve. 
and that looks fine. So delete this curve here. And now we can, so first of all, join everything. So select object mode, select all sheets, press J, because now we can patch that again. And let's try if we can patch that. And you see it works already better. But so yeah, I could just leave it as is and yeah, thanks for watching and stuff, but I don't know. I it's it's not what we want because you see we have still some really weird rounding here. You see, it's it's just not not as smooth as I want. So let's go back and again we have to create another curve which will be so here we will create two extra edges and we create a new extra curve which will be straight because right now it looked like something like that right so and we don't want that so let's do that again select in three phase mode this sheet and control r isoparam add it to the middle and the same here selected phase control r isoparam yeah somewhere i don't know somewhere here in the middle and again, select those edges, shift B, bridge edge. And here you see already that's not what we want. So G0 and G1. So you see, we just get a nice, beautiful curve. And now we can try again to patch everything here and add this curve here. And now let's give here G1 and G1 and G1, G1. And here it's G0 because hard edge. And press OK, delete the curve. And you see, that's looking already so, so, look guys, that looks really good. We could even improve it here and, and cut away, but for now it's it's fine. And look, we have this beautiful sharp corner here or edge, so this is beautiful. So let's finish this up here. Three, let's delete everything here. Shift X and select that. Alt X, bring that to that side, press J, Alt X again and bring it to that side, press J. And we have a beautiful ring here. And if you want to learn even more about surface modeling, so if you like those techniques that I showed you, I have amazing courses on my website, but I just launched a new plasticity all in one course where you will learn everything about surface modeling. You will learn how to create a real world object, this motorcycle here with all of those beautiful surfaces from scratch. Everyone can follow along and we will create every part one by one. So below this video, first link, you can check out everything. And also you will get a tons of bonuses where we'll just teach you like the mental aspect of how to learn, how to get better, and also a whole introduction into surface modeling, what tangency G0, G1 is with hands-on practices. So you really grasp all of those fundamentals of plasticity and CAD modeling. Also, if you go here to the courses tab, I also have some bundles and some other courses. So really, really useful for you stuff. Check it out if you want. First link in the description. Leave a like and subscribe for this video. And I hope I see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.